Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to give you guys a complete tour of the InGroove in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Everything from the showroom, the wall records, the equipment we sell, the sound room, box sets, our warehouse, our packing tables, our receiving tables, how we process used collections, how we ultrasonically clean everything, our flatteners, everything that goes on inside of this building. All right, welcome in. Just like any retail store anywhere in the United States, the number one genre of music is rock. We sell more rock and roll records than anything else. And because of that, the very first thing you'll notice when you walk in the store is our rock section. We keep it the closest to the door for that particular reason. Right behind me, you're gonna see A in the number section. The way we kind of set it up in the store, probably pretty similar to your local record store, is we put all the generic letters in the front of the letter, and then all of the individual artists, the more popular artists, Al Inches and Chains, ACDC, Adele, those types of artists actually have their own bin card towards the back of the letter. This is probably a familiar shot to you guys in a way because this is actually where I shoot my new arrival video every single Thursday. Now, I normally place the camera to where you're looking at that section of the store, but this is the section of the store you've actually probably never seen. Other than we do a live stream on Record Store Day, and that's kind of when you'll see this half of the store. But this is a little bit better of a shot. So we're going to have rock going all the way up to the end of this row. So you've got one, two, three, four, five rows of rock records. All right, over on this aisle here, we actually start at the end with our world section. It goes from our world section to our holiday section. We actually have a local section kind of specialized in Arizona records. That is right here. This is actually the beginning of our metal section, the A's, and it actually goes all the way down to the rest of this aisle, and then on over to here, and ends right here. Punk records actually start right here at the end of metal, to about here, and then starts our blues section, going from here to the actual end of the aisle. On the other side of the aisle, all the way at the very end of this long aisle, is our electronic section. Right next to electronic is our 12-inch singles. We actually have a WTF section. That is kind of where we put all of the non-genre records. These could be horoscope records, how to be successful in business. These could be your cheesecake, erotic type records. We do put some comedy in there because we no longer have a comedy section in order to kind of save some space. It's kind of the hodgepodge of everything else in the store. Really cool section. Check it out, there's some funny things in there. Right next to that is actually the beginning of our soundtrack section, which is pretty large. So all the way through here we have soundtracks, all the way till you get to the very beginning of the classical section, which is actually right here. Our classical selection is definitely the best in the state. Although it's not huge, everything you're gonna find in it is actually top tier records. You're not gonna find a lot of angel recordings in here, no budget uh, musical heritage society type stuff. Everything here is going to be audio file records, mobile fidelity, analog productions, classical records, everything from original pressing, Mercury Living Presents, RCA Living Stereos, Deutsche Grammophones, DECA, UK DECAs, EMIs, the kind of stuff that people are actually going to buy in 2024 when it comes to classical records. The beginning of this aisle starts our rap section. We've got A's over there, and we actually end at the various rap and hip hop artists right here which also starts the beginning of our R&B and soul selection, which makes its way all the way to the absolute end of the aisle. So we have a very hefty R&B section, definitely the largest in the state of Arizona. I would assume actually every genre of music we carry is the largest in the state of Arizona, but that's just my guess. But again, R&B comes to here. Now my favorite part of the store is actually right here, and this is the jazz section. I feel bad that I put it in the absolute back of the store, but it just logistically made sense for it to be here. But jazz starts all the way at the end, at A, and the number section at the end of the aisle, and makes its way all the way to the end, and actually wrapping around the corner. You can actually see this large aisle just gets us through M in the jazz genre. When we wrap the camera around, you will actually see the continuation of jazz at the beginning of this aisle, all the way to the end when we get to here, which is actually the various jazz selection. So definitely a hefty amount of jazz, and I would say most of the jazz records in this building are actually located in the back. The very end of this aisle actually makes out our country section, which is gonna be from about here to the end of the aisle here. 
a fairly large country section, but we are in Arizona where you're going to find a lot of country outlaw country records in this particular state. Rounding out the records on the floor are actually our new arrival end caps. We have the one row for new records. That's actually the new sealed records that have come out for the week. Same spot I do my new arrival video. And the rest of these three bins, which make up the first two rows there, all four rows there, and three rows here, are actually our new used records. That is everything on the main floor. Now let me show you guys some of the stuff on the wall and behind the counter. Our wall records are vast. Everything on the wall is going to be anywhere from $80 to about $250. Anything over $250 we put in the showcases. We have somewhat of a loose organization to the wall records in the store. Behind me when I shoot the new arrival videos, I typically like to put jazz records behind me. I like to be known as a jazz focused store. So I put those behind me in the new arrival video. But the rest of the records and seven inches on the wall are kind of just all sporadic. We do have a small selection of seven inches in the store, but most of the seven inches that we sell are actually featured on our store Discogs page. We don't have a lot of space in the main showroom for seven inches anymore. And actually, when it comes to the Phoenix area market, seven inches are not that popular. So we don't actually have a ton of seven inches in the store, but we do have probably about 10,000 on our Discogs page. But there are some featured in the store, kind of spread out throughout the wall. This last aisle is actually our CD section. We don't really do much in the way of new CDs other than audiophile, essay CDs, and like autograph signed exclusive indie CDs from time to time. But other than that, for the most part, you're only gonna find used CDs and CD box sets over here. Behind the counter here is where we actually store most of the box sets in the store. This is also the customer service area for the in-group. I typically find myself sitting here. We have another customer service rep who actually sits here. We actually keep a good selection of InGroove branded t-shirts as well. We've got the store logo. This particular jazz design won a contest that we had a while back on YouTube. Uh, this one here on the end is my particular favorite. I believe my wife likes this one the best as well. I'm not sure. I think so. I don't know. I'm gonna go with yes though. Although I don't talk about it enough on YouTube, we actually carry an immense amount of hi-fi gear in the shop, and we actually demo quite a bit of it in the sound room and our main showroom here. We carry a ton of brands. Some of the brands we carry are Audio-Technica, Dr. Feichart, Cambridge Audio, Focal, Klipsch, Kuzma, Hi-Fi Rose, Mobile Fidelity, Musical Fidelity, Ortofon, Piega, Project, EMT, Riga, Technics, Thorns, Wharfdale, Yamaha. Although not everything we sell is on display, we actually stock and mail order a significant amount of these brand's components. This is actually our store hi-fi system. I would say this is one of the best hi-fi systems you're actually going to see at any record store in the country. But let me show you some of the pieces we have here. I actually have a Macintosh 2300 tube preamp currently set up followed by a pair of 1200 watt monoblock Macintosh amps. That is the left channel amp, this is the right channel amp. You'd actually have probably seen some of these components from my hi-fi system quite a few years ago. I brought them into the store recently. One of my absolute all-time favorite turntables, and I actually ordered one of these for myself, I will show you that on a future video, and that is the Technics 1000 reference turntable. An amazing turntable. I actually have an Art Series Audio-Technica cartridge on it. Uh, we've got a Kuzma Stabby S turntable over here with an Audio-Technica cartridge on it as well. That is a Hi-Fi Rose 150B streamer. The Mobile Fidelity Master Phono Stage, an amazing phono stage. This is the Technics SACD uh, CD player streamer. The speakers in the main showroom are actually a pair of Macintosh XRT-1Ks. I've had these speakers for about 10 years. They used to be in my main hi-fi system years ago. They actually work surprisingly well for a room this size. This is kind of what they're designed for. These are big, powerful line array speakers. And when you have a showroom that's this size, they project quality sound exceptionally well. All right, let's head back to the warehouse portion of the in-group. But first, I wanna show you guys on the floor, on the left, you will actually see our box set sleeves, regular 
vinyl record inner sleeves, outer sleeves, we store those all here. On your right, and also throughout most of the store, you will actually see our bargain bins. Our bargain bins are loaded with great records, but stuff that don't meet our high grading standards, or records that naturally don't fit in the $6 and over range. Only things that are over $6 make it to the upper bins, but anything below that will go there. Now we don't really, I mean, you're not gonna find a lot of Lawrence Welk and Ray Conniff. We have a special receptacle outside that is blue and picked up weekly by the city of Phoenix that we store those particular records in. But down here you will find stuff like Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, but in lesser condition, VG Records for instance. Tons of great stuff down there. I highly recommend if you're a crate digger, this is the spot for you. All right, on the way to the sound room, the hallway here is actually where we store most of the speakers that we don't have on display in the sound room. So this hallway is normally pretty packed with Focal speakers, but they're in the middle of a line change right now, so it's a little bit on the light side. But I'll show you guys what we actually have on display here now. We've got a pair of Mobile Fidelity Source Point 8s in Walnut, a pair of Wharfdale Lintons in Walnut. This is actually the Technics reference speaker. This is the G90M2. Uh, we have a pair of Cambridge speakers there at the end of the hallway. But let's go on to the sound room and I'll show you guys what I got in there. In between the retail showroom and the warehouse sits our sound room. In the sound room at the moment, now this is a room that changes quite frequently. As customers come in and want to hear things and we swap things out for demo purposes, this room is ever shifting. But I tend to keep some of the higher end pieces in this room. Uh, just as storage. But at the moment, what we have set up here is actually, starting with the speakers, a pair of Focal Sopra 3s. These are a Megascar, a beautiful speaker. It's one of their newer color choices. I love this speaker, not only sonically, but it's just a, a gorgeous speaker. We recently replaced the Macintosh speakers at our house. I brought them into the showroom, and I'm pretty confident this is the speaker that's actually gonna replace those Macintoshes in my second system. But Sopra 3s in Megascar. Let me show you guys the turntables. That is a Kuzma Stabby R with a four-point tone arm. Actually, an EMT JDS 6 cartridge, five or six, I believe. Uh, we've got a Dr. Fightguard Black Guard, well, excuse me, a Dr. Fightguard Blackbird with the Stogie S12 tone arm. It's a unipivot tone arm. I don't have a cartridge set up on it at the moment. We had a Koetsu cartridge on it, but uh, Koetsu's kind of going through a phase right now where the cartridges are a little bit difficult to get, and a customer loved that cartridge so much that he insisted on buying that particular one. So I gotta get that swapped out. Underneath it, we've got the Technics reference amplifier. This is the 1000. Below that, we've got a musical fidelity M6SI. We've got the BAT 80i integrated tube amp. We've got the BAT P90. This is their phono stage. Below that, we've got the Cambridge Audio Edge preamp and amplifier, and that is actually on a solid steel rack. The room treatments in this room are all done by Vicoustic. It was a very long, tedious, and complicated process getting this done. I wanted to do it by ear. And because of that, I didn't know exactly how much stuff I wanted to buy. Also, this is a very difficult room because it is a somewhat uh, smaller square room, not unsimilar to what most people's hi-fi rooms are, but it's a square, which is a very difficult room to treat. Not only that, as I got going, treating this room, Vicoustic stopped making this olive green color panel. So I had half of the room in this olive green panel. They stopped making it and it took months to be able to get more of these panels to finish the room out. But I'll spin the camera around and kind of show you guys what we have behind you. To the left of the Sopra speakers, we actually have a pair of Piega wireless bookshelf speakers on the floor. Next to our demo records, a pair of Focal Canta 3s in Walnut. On the solid steel rack in the corner, we have a Dr. Feitgart Valore turntable in Walnut, a Mobile Fidelity Ultra Deck, uh, a Project Phonobox RS, a Musical Fidelity M5SI in silver on the bottom, 
And we actually have a uh, Harmon Miller chair for the sound room. Over in the other corner, we actually have an old TX X1000 reel-to-reel player that we recently took in trade. Sitting on top of another couple of trade amps, these are an amazing set of amps. Very undervalued in today's market, but they were uh, something else 20 years ago, top of the line, and they hold up extremely well today. I've got them in the, on eBay at the moment. These are Theta Citadels, massive monoblock amplifiers. I have a Thorns TD-1601 in Walnut. Underneath that is a M8 Musical Fidelity preamp, and below those are the matching monoblock amplifiers. I've actually got room treatments all the way throughout this room, including the ceiling. All the used records that are brought into the store are actually processed right here. I have a record processor that sits here and goes through records all day long. Once he prices the records, he puts them over there in a staging area for me to take a look at. Anything that doesn't meet my grading standard or price standard either gets fixed or brought over to the bargain bin. Once I double check everything, I put them underneath the ultrasonic record cleaners here. Then, throughout the day, he's cleaning those records. Once he ultrasonically cleans those records, he puts them over into a staging area behind the counter to where in the future we can clean the jackets, sleeve up the records in a Japanese resealable sleeve, price them, and put them out onto the floor. This is also the area of the store where I do my record inspections. On the website, for eight bucks, we offer the ability to buy a record and have it ultrasonically cleaned. One of the benefits of that is not only do we ultrasonically clean it, put it in a new Japanese resealable or sleeve, a mobile fidelity inner sleeve, but if the record is defective, I take care of it. If it's scratched, I go to the warehouse, I grab a new copy, and I start over. If it's warped, I can take care of the warping in the FuruTech DF2 flatteners that I have over here. So you're gonna get a perfect record with the inspection every single time. And this is kind of where I do that. This is the staging area for that. So behind the FuruTech flatteners is actually also some of our Discog uh, inventory. Some CDs, mini discs, box sets that we have on Discogs. And this is kind of the start of the LPs that we have on Discogs. We've got LPs, box sets, reel-to-reel -reel tapes. We've got an immense amount of stuff on the Discogs page, and that kind of gets put behind us here. This is actually the packing table section of the warehouse where we do all of the shipping. I've got four packing tables to where I can have four people at a time mailing out orders. Behind the packing tables, we actually have all of my custom design mailers. These are all mailers that I've actually designed for different things. I've got some mailers to ship one or two records. I designed other mailers to ship box sets, UHQRs, one steps, 20 piece orders, 40 piece orders. All of the boxes back here were designed by me. Everything short of the bubble wrap and the filler pads. This is actually our receiving area. This is where all of the records that are mailed to us actually start off. This is where they get priced, processed, and received into the system. We're actually going through some record store day stuff at the moment. Behind me here, these are actually all the collections that I have that I'm currently working through. Many of these collections I have, have had for years that it's just taken so long to get to them. I actually have an offsite area as well where I store collections that I don't have room in this building for. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of our back stock. As you can see, most of the records that we have in this building are not actually on the retail showroom floor. They are actually in our warehouse. I got a lot of records back here. We also stock and mail a lot of equipment. You can see that all here on the back shelf and then some more on this back shelf. And coming back up the aisle, you can see more records. We have a lot of records at the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. The largest record selection anywhere in the state. Check us out online. Until next time.